Today I am watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 4 Episode 2. I've watched an episode of Angel now, so I've had some questions answered from the first episode. Like, now I know where Cordelia is. Um, in Episode 1 of Buffy Season 4, we saw it was her first week of university. She was getting adjusted to, you know, new surroundings, new school. They found a group of vampires who had been living at a nearby campus and who were attacking students. But we don't have a villain set up, not the one that I can see anyway. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what this season going to be about. I really love the show so I'm very excited to continue watching it and to see what Buffy in college looks like and what that next chapter will be. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Fun, isn't it? You bet. Yeah, I'm curious to see what those SWAT team tasering vampire people are about. I'll be quiet as a mouse. I promise. Buffy's like, I already have a mother. I don't need you checking up on me. Catches the worm. <laughs> you bet. She hates this so much. Log all your calls. Yeah, I, I was making my coffee and I just... Buffy, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure... Oh. She has to press play. She can't go five minutes to listen to this song. Oh my god. I have a thief or something. A thief that stole like an inch of milk. Ha ha! I'm really sorry. I have to. Have a good time. <laughs> yeah. You too. With the ironing. Buffy hates it. She's like, I need my own space. I need my own, you know, area to just do whatever I want. She labeled novels on her bookshelf. Yikes. And what are we, if not women, up to a challenge? Exactly. I mean, did we not put the girl in girl? Yeah, we haven't met Willow's roommate yet. Oh. Say hey to Oz for me. Happy hunting. Wish me monsters. Yeah, Buffy's never had a roommate before. Oh my, there's this glowing eyes creature. Oh, gross. Yeah, that glowing eyes creature was in the intro as well, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Suspicious. You're coming along. Why not? This way you don't have to walk these spooky paths alone. She's like, I like the spooky paths alone. Kathy, get out of here! That's great. She seems suspicious. Is she, like, sent to spy on Buffy or something? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, give him the chops, Buffy! So many chops! Darth Maul looking creature. Where is he running to? She may be the one. She is the one. Why is there two of them? Oh, God. What language are they speaking? This is terrifying. Creepy men in robes. And jump. And bend. And occasionally frolic. Oh, my Giles. And, uh,. What's with motorbike and scooter magazine? Midlife crisis. You're having one of those midlife things, are you? Because I'm still going ish from the last time you tried to recapture your youth. Buffy. That, yeah, well, that's a throwback everybody wanted. You took your roommate patrolling with you? Well, I invited the whole dorm, but she was the only one that could make it. Ha ha! Take a mental pick. This is the new Buffy. Kinder, gentler, roommate extraordinaire. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> She's using paint thinner on her sweater? Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Ah, oh, come on! Why are you going through things? Don't be that roommate. That's the worst. Trying on her clothes. Oh, look, a bag full of weapons. Yes, because she's a vampire slayer. How are you gonna explain this one, Buffy? Oh, God. And Kathy was worried about someone drinking her milk. <laughs> Wearing her sweater. Kathy, you little. I'm sorry, I just cut you. No, stay, stay. I'll watch your back. You have to, literally, she's in front of you. Right. So the goal is to polish off as much as humanly possible in one sitting. Enough to get you I don't hate that plan. Necessary. While chipmunking items for future consumption. Ah. 
chipmunking. He's squirreling them away, putting things in his pockets. I just got way too excited, didn't I? You just need to get out of the basement a little more there, Zand. Hi, everybody. Kathy, no. No, social cues. Learn to read them. And stop wearing other people's clothes. We're almost like sisters now, living together and everything. It's been like, what, a week? Two weeks? Most? You gotta get out of there, Buffy. She's gonna be smelling your hair in no time. Yes. Big sky country. Buffy, the sweater's gonna get ketchup. Yep, all over it. Oh, Kathy's secret revenge. She's like, you ruined my sweater, so I'm gonna ruin yours. Yeah. I guess it's hard. Uh, but I'm sure the sweater thing was an accident. Willow just wants to study and her roommate's having a party? Oh my god. Let me just come back from the bathroom. I'll call you back. That's the first time we saw Willow's, like, dorm. We still don't know who her roommate is. Yeah, she put her name on everything. Cause she's, she's that person. She's that roommate. And she closed Buffy's window. Oh God, this is horrifying. Oh God, they're pouring what blood in her mouth? Scorpions on her belly button, what's happening? Ah! That was a horrible dream. Me, like I'm some kind of freak. Well, actually the worst part, I'd have to go with the demon pouring the blood down your throat. Yeah, that would be uncomfortable, for sure. All this stuff to me. Stuff like scorpions and Bloody Mary minus the Mary? That's it, how'd you know? Kathy had the same dream. Oh, I haven't even gotten to the floss. Buffy, focus, please. Buffy's blinded by rage. Which could also be construed as the brain thing. Not when you're minoring in Napping 101. That'd be a great class, sign me the heck up. I'm down. I would major in that class. Whitney. That's so totally true. Parker? Hey! Oh my! I think it's the violence. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that was just between us. Uh, it could be this way. And now Kathy is like stealing her crush. Oh god! My sweater. Pettiness comes out. The flossing, the sweaters, the locks, the windows. It's happening. <laughs> Chugging milk might not have been the appropriate retaliation. If you need me, I'll be. At the library. That would be like, because annoying as Kathy is, having a roommate that at constant parties would be so much worse. Okay, suspicious. So What's going on here? Oh, yeah, these guys with the tasers again. What are we doing? There you go. Get some headphones. Yeah, problem solved. Breaks an egg like that. What? The fact that she wrote on Sharpie on each individual egg. Oh my gosh. She's gonna eat a hard boiled. Ugh, gross! Oh god, another dream! Oh god! What? They're writing on her with blood? Yeah, and like sucking the life out of her or something? What's happening? Oh, oh, another scorpion again! Later. Buffy's like, now you're talking to Willow? You've crossed the line. It's simple. I'm gonna have to kill her. Oh, Buffy. It's not just me in danger from Kathy. Look. She kept them? She kept her toenails? And they grew. After they were cut. That's a demon thing. She has to be- Is it? I feel like she's just looking, grasping at straws. Bad puppies to Giles before you do anything. Just to be sure. Well, absolutely. <laughs> then he'll tell you you're crazy. <laughs> Giles, I'll hang hair and, and keep an eye on Kathy. So that Buffy doesn't accidentally kill her. Oh my god. She's not evil. Buffy just hates living with her. You can't just kill her. Hello? <laughs> They trapped her in a net? Oh my god. Well, that will make the possessing demon reveal itself so that we can fight it, but I, I need to get some supplies from the magic shop. Yeah, if Buffy's possessed, does that mean Kathy's also possessed if they met the demon the same night? Avoid the legs. Oh, bonked him. Yep. Sorry, boys. See you later. Kathy. Buffy. She can't kill a roommate. That's not- we're not doing this. Oops. Look what I did. Oh, 
Oh my god, Kathy! Whoa! Are they both possessed? What's happening? Is Kathy actually evil? Oh my god! Yes! She just ripped off her face! Oh my god! Okay, see you later! Cheese and rice! Of course Buffy gets roomed with a demon with glowing eyes. Who's this? How many is there? This involves the forced ingestion of animal blood while the victim slumbers. That's what's happening. <laughs> well, at least she was suspicious. Oh, bonked her. Like <laughs> growling sounds. Give her the chops, Buffy. <laughs> if you ever wanted to beat the crap out of your roommate, this is the episode for you. Oh! It's share time, Buffy. Well, that's a nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel forever. Ah! Oh, I'll call Kathy. Tell her to get out of there. All you had to do was write! Just slapping her with the phone. <laughs> Buffy's been doing a Linda Blairness because Kathy's been sucking her soul. I love the exorcism reference. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, like the petty ways they're getting back at each other while they're in this massive fight. Oh, bonked her. No one seems concerned. Yeah, exactly. Trying to study. <laughs> Oh, out the window she loves. Preempted. Let the essence be returned to its original host. Oh god, no, 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 no. Just sucking the life out of her. Oh, let's hope it worked. Whoa. Is this her dad? God knew that far. Who could have caught Victor Gordy? Got trapped in my can! 3,000 years old. And your college dorm doesn't have a demon portal? I mean, honestly. Bye, Kathy! You were the worst! How's that? <laughs> yes! Yes! Perfect combination. Perfect. Yes, I'm so excited they're gonna be roommates. Issues. I don't burn incense or. Are you gonna finish this? She's like, they don't share food. Oh, it's starting again. She loves Willow too much. Uh, and Willow was putting up a Dingo's poster for Oz. Oh my. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season four, episode two. It wasn't my favorite episode. It kind of just felt like a filler episode. It was still entertaining and enjoyable, but not my favorite. I was like, okay, where's this going? Buffy and her roommate, you know, just been arguing constantly. But as we know in Sunnydale, nothing is just how it seems. And of course, Kathy turns out to be a soul sucking demon. If you were ever suspicious about your college roommate being a demon, I feel like this episode probably just would have furthered those suspicions and we see Buffy adjusting to living with somebody for the first time. From what we know, Buffy's an only child and you know she had her own room at her house obviously. This is the first time she's lived with somebody. She's always had that place she could go to, you know, and close the door and be by herself. And then Kathy starts, you know, questioning where are you going? What are you doing? Where were you out so late? Let me go with you and just, you know, labeling all of her stuff and playing the same song over and over and just things that would be hard to adjust to when you're not used to having to share your space so I'm so glad her and Willow are rooming together honestly I was like that's the only way she's gonna make it through we never met Willow's roommate and obviously now it doesn't matter all we know is his roommate was having parties constantly and Willow was just trying her best to deal with it and to study so I think this will be a good situation for both of them and even if they you know have conflicts I feel like they obviously have such a good friendship foundation that they'll be able to talk through it and they won't leave like passive aggressive post notes or anything like that so I'm very excited and Buffy doesn't have to worry about Willow, you know, being like, why are you out on patrol? What are you doing? What's this bag of steaks? You know, like, what is this all about? Willow obviously knows and will probably be going with Buffy on those patrols anyway. We did see that SWAT team who was going around tasering vampires again in this episode. It was just like a brief scene. They were just walking in the background. But what I like about this show is they just leave that trail of breadcrumbs so that when, you know, it's actually revealed, you're like, it was here all along. You know, the clues were there. So I'm kind of anticipating that'll be our season long conflict. 
Please no spoilers, but that's my prediction. We didn't see them interact with anybody. Oz saw them and was kind of like, okay, this is suspicious. And obviously he knows from hanging out with Buffy and everybody that if you see something suspicious, it probably is. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what that's all about. And Oz walked past this group who were kind of, you know, giving him this side eye. So I'm very curious if they were vampires or something supernatural, but definitely no shortage of supernatural elements. We saw Xander and Oz working together again, which I feel like they will just naturally start to do more often and Xander was just kind of hanging out at the university doesn't really have a plan I don't know what his character is gonna do he shows up and is just kind of eating Willow's food and hanging on the cafeteria I'm like doesn't seem to have any ambitions or plans we don't know if he has a job or anything we know his parents are making him pay rent so I'm assuming he's doing something to pay that he did mention he was a dishwasher at that nightclub but I don't think that's happening anymore so yeah we don't really know what's going on with Xander we also met a new character named Parker in this episode episode as well. It's kind of this like crush for Buffy. You know, maybe it turns into something, maybe it doesn't. It's just a new character. We didn't see Miss Walsh or Riley in this episode, but obviously it's a new school. There's going to be new people and it's interesting to see, you know, who Buffy meets and what their storyline will be. Obviously, Kathy was only in these two episodes and even though she didn't die at the end of this episode, they just pushed her into that portal. So yeah, I'm very curious if that will come back into play at some point. The makeup, special effects, prosthetics, everything is so cool. The scene where Buffy Buffy like grabs Kathy's face and rips it off and oh my god I know it's an older show but it didn't look dated it didn't look like okay this needs you know this needs some work it looked decent like it didn't take me out of the experience of watching it and having something where you're like oh okay this is a little cringeworthy it was well done and it's just so gross the way she's like talking to her and she's missing her face and you know goes it's share time and then you know boots her into the closet it was just like oh my god it was interesting to see that side of Buffy kind of acting a little bit petty and just like retaliating against her roommate and doing all these things on purpose that she knows will bug her roommate just out of like frustration and just wanting to get back at this person because they obviously had disagreed on many things but after Buffy had been complaining about Kathy for so long and you know and then she's like oh she's a demon I have to kill her everybody's like okay like you're clearly just fed up with your roommate you don't want to deal with her anymore and you're using this as an excuse to kill her and I was like Buffy's not gonna kill a human like we very briefly dabbled with that in a few seasons but I was like that's not what we're starting off this season with like that can't be the path she's going down she's just randomly killing humans now and even I was a bit skeptical I was like okay this toenail theory that seems like grasping at straws and then obviously you know Giles does his research and we find out more but Buffy trying to tell them like something's actually wrong and everybody just assuming that she's you know crying wolf because she's been complaining about her roommate for so long and doesn't want to deal with her and the fact that Buffy and Kathy were having the same dream I thought okay Okay, maybe this demon, you know, touched Kathy somehow or, you know, somehow was able to transfer dreams. I thought maybe her character would have this supernatural power, could dreamwalk or something like Buffy can. And then obviously we find out that Kathy is in fact the demon and that's probably why she was tagging along so much and was, you know, trying to track her moves. And when Kathy finds that bag, you know, of all Buffy's weapons in the closet, she doesn't ask Buffy about it. The only thing we really hear her say is she tells Willow like, oh, I don't think she's normal but she doesn't seem alarmed she doesn't seem concerned by it because obviously she's a demon and she knows what this is and she realizes what Buffy is overall I thought it was an okay episode it wasn't my favorite it was interesting how they're incorporating more of Buffy's you know college life into the storylines obviously in high school she didn't have a roommate she went home and you know dealing with this roommate situation and how Buffy was trying to adapt and then obviously it turns out to be a demon because it's Sunnydale and that's just how things go I feel like her and Willow will be great roommates and obviously Obviously, you know, they have a really good friendship and things will hopefully go better than with her and Kathy and Willow won't have to have a roommate that's throwing crazy parties all the time. I'm very curious to see what this SWAT team situation is going to be like. And even though it's pretty early in the season, we're only two episodes in, I noticed that Giles and Xander have kind of, you know, been more in the background before, you know, Giles was in the library and they would easier access to him and they could go to him, you know, all the time for help. Now I think he's in maybe a handful of scenes throughout the entire episode. Obviously, Buffy has always been the main focus, but I feel like they're in the episodes less and less and Oz seems to only be in it because he's at the university so he's there so instead of you know Xander going on patrol with Buffy it's Oz because Oz is there and Willow asks him to but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content
Yeah, I'm curious to see what those SWAT team tasering vampire people were about. A thief that stole like an inch of milk. My, is this glowing eyes creature. She's like, I like the spooky pass alone. Creepy men in robes. And stop wearing other people's clothes. She's gonna be smelling your hair in no time. Scorpions on her belly button. Chugging milk might not have been the appropriate retaliation. Yeah, and like sucking the life out of her. 